What is going on guys, Flame Rising here, coming at you with a new layout, new logo, new everything, new league. Uh, this is however week 7 of a league, because I am taking over for Aki and his uh, Portland Crobats in the IBA. Uh, we are in week 7, this is what that is. Uh, we picked up a team which was 4-2, and two, and the team is phenomenal. Here, let me, let me go to this right here. The team that I have, you guys probably won't be able to see it. Uh, maybe. Where is it? Where is it? Am I up top? Nope, I'm right here. I'm right here. Okay. So, Garchomp, Jirachi, Toxapex, Volcarona, Blissey, Cobalion, Silvalli, all types. Uxie, Lorantis, Pylosline, Mega Altaria. I really like this team. And the team that we're going up against is the Portage Herdiers, which is right here. Uh, they have Huron Black, Thunderous, Crobat, Sylveon, Pori 2, Serena, Bronzong, Copagrigus, Heatmore, Quagsar, Megalopony. You guys already saw what he's bringing. You can see down below what he's bringing. Um, he has his Kieran Black. He has his Thunderous Eye. He has his Megalop. He has his Bronzong. He has his Quagsire. And he has his Porygon too. And as you can see, uh, the team that I brought is Garchomp, Toxapex, Jirachi, Volcarona, Uxie, and Mega Alt. Uh, Mega Altaria is a uh, specially built set. Let me actually... Uh, might have to block out some of these teams. Uh, probably not. Uh, no, I really don't. Uh, maybe that one, because I don't think I've done that one yet. But this one. Uh, we have Choice Scarf, Garchomp, Sharknado, uh, with Rusty and Dragon Claw, Poison Jarb, Earthquake, Rock Slide. Um, it, running Scarf for the Kyurem, running Scarf for uh, the Crobat, running Scarf for the Thunderous. Basically, this is my main attacker. Uh, we have a Spadeth, Toxpex. Uh, Scald Knockoff Recover Bankful Bunker. Uh, this is, I made it Spadef because Thunderous and its physical defense is already super high. We have uh, Dual Scarfers. We have Scarf Popo with Energy Ball for the Quagsire. U turns and Headbutt Iron Head. We have Hot, the Volcarona. Um, bulky Quiver Dance set. We have Finna Woke. Uh, Stealth Rocket U turn, Foul Play, and Thunder Wave. Uh, balanced out its EVs a little bit. And then we have Ploof, which is a Spadef set with 152 special attack. And you guys really haven't seen too well this part. Uh, but I uh, set up a Cotton Guard, and I really don't die too easily. So I'm going to go ahead and click play. And we're going to get right into the battle. Play. Why, why do you know play? Let me reload it. is really bad I wish it was better I'm gonna take a cut uh, and fix this all right I'm back everything is fixed we're gonna click play and there we go so he let off with his thunderous as I let off with Uxie shocker he had speeds me and goes for the u-turn um, I go in, uh, for the stealth rock because stealth rock does pretty well against his team and I don't think he has any kind of removal uh, he goes for the substitute as I go for the T-Wave. Good play on his part, which is kind of scary. Uh, Kieran Black behind the sub is really scary. Uh, he goes for the Earth Power, only does 18%. I go for the Foul Play and break the sub. Um, he goes for another sub here, but if he had gone for uh, the move he's going for next turn, he would have taken out Finn Awoke. Uh, he's going for his ICMZ Sub-Zero Slammer, and I live on 1% because I'm the GOAT. Uh, I go for Foul Play again, and I don't want to take out the Saha Sprite Change. I uh, don't want him to take out Uxie, so I went out into my Spadef uh, Tuck Specs and go for the knockoff because I thought he would switch. I thought he'd want to preserve that, but I'm an idiot. Uh, he goes for another Earth Power, does quite a bit. I just go for the Recover. Uh, and I believe I just take him out with a Scald next turn. So that is Toxapex down. Um, uh, he sacked off one of his bigger threats. Uh, he goes out into this. I go for the Baneful Bunker just to see what he's going to do. He went for the Hidden Power Ice, so he was predicting my Garchomp to come in, but I ain't, I ain't that dumb. Uh, but I just go and sack off Uxie, get some momentum from the U-turn. Sprites keep changing, and it's super fun. I love it. Uh, and then I go out into my Volcarona and start setting up in his face. He goes for the Rock Slide, and it only does about 57%, uh, which is actually a lot. I go for the Giga Drain, and he has his Rindu, uh, but I survived enough to live another Rock Slide on the secret. And I go for another Giga Drain the next turn on his switch into Porygon Z. And watch this. 
this makes me mad. So he goes for um, the try attack as I roost. And uh, he freezes me. Turn one. Uh, and I don't have flamethrower. I have fiery dance, so I'm not able to unbox. And there's really nothing I can do. Uh, this Porygon 2 did a lot this match. and super, super mad about it. Uh, he just keeps going for the try attack, not doing uh, as much. I'm sitting here just wanting to unbot or letting it die. That's legit where it is, because I don't want to switch out. I don't want to leave this thing frozen. Uh, <sighs> but I thought out, thankfully, and go for the roost. And then he goes for a try attack again and gets the para. I hate my life. I tried to go for another Quiver Dance, uh, but he goes out into his Quagsire as a para again. And I believe I just clicked the Giga Drain and take this thing out. So that's Quagsire down. So right now it's 5 4 in my favor. He goes out into his Megalop, and I'm just going to stay in, I believe, because I want to try to get the burn on it. I go for the Fiery Dance. Doesn't quite get close to taking it out. I do get that special attack raise, but it doesn't really matter. He just goes for another return and takes me out. So Volcarona's is down 4 4. I go out into Ploof. Uh, he goes for the return, it does not do a lot, and I go for the Hyper Voice, and his uh, Megalop is down, which is a really scary threat to my team. Uh, I went for Roost on his Earthquake, and it only did 17%. <laughs> and uh, I go for the Cotton Guard, uh, it glitched a little bit there. As he went for the Gyro Ball, Gyro Ball did not do enough. It keeps glitching out just a little bit there, I'm sorry about that, I don't know why. Um, but I went for the Fire Blast, and he missed, which is unfortunate. I go for the roost here, and I go for the hyper voice, it doesn't do a lot. He goes for the toxic, and I'm like, okay, that's... He could've went for try attack there, because pixelate, and it probably would've taken me out. Uh, see, there it is. Actually, it didn't do as much as I had thought it would. Uh, another hyper voice does not quite pick up the KO, however, he does go for the recover, which is stupid. Uh, and I go for another hyper voice, as he is just gonna toxic stall me. Uh, Ploof goes down to the toxic, so it's no big deal. I go out into Mercy the Toxpex and go for the knockoff try to get rid of that thing's EVO light, uh, but I knock off Sideman's Expert Belt. He goes for that, predicting me to switch into Garchomp again, and I go for the Scald. Don't get the burn, which would have been really cool there. Uh, he just goes for the Wild Charge, lets the recoil take him out. I should have recovered that turn, looking at things. Uh, but then he goes out into Bronzong, and I'm not going to stay in, so I switch out, and I'm sitting here like, I have nothing for the Bronzong. I, I legit have nothing for the Bronzong. So I just gotta start weakening it with uh, Dragon Claw. And hopefully we can do something. Uh, it doesn't do much. Uh, but then I'm able to get one more Dragon Claw off before this thing has to go down. So Earthquake does inevitably take me out. Um, and then I go out into Toxitex again and I click Knockoff, which does 22%, which is awful. Uh, I knew he wouldn't want to switch in his uh, 4 or 2. Uh, and I believe I go for the Recover this turn to get back to a Hundo. And I go for the Scald uh, this next turn, and I do believe I get the Scald burn. And you're going to see where this goes. He really doesn't have an answer for my Tox specs anymore. Uh, I didn't get the burn that turn, but I think I go for a Recover here, and then the next turn I go for Scald and get the burn. It helps with uh, taking this thing out. Uh, he goes for the Scald. 14% gets the burn. And he goes for the Earthquake. And he's going to die to the next Scald. Uh, but I just click Recover, and I'm just going to Recover Scald him. He goes down to 4%, and I think I just clicked Scald here just to take him out. So I have a Toxpex at about 100% at 98. It's not... Uh, uh, he goes in and gets Regenerator, which doesn't really do much. Goes for the Try Attack, and uh, he did it again. Uh, and now he's just going to try to stall me out. Uh, See, this is me being stupid, and I could have just clicked Scald, but I went for the knockoff because I'm just dumb. Uh, but I didn't knock off his EVO light, so now he's going to die pretty easy. I go for the Scald, um, just trying to weaken this thing to get the burn, and then I believe as soon as I do get the burn, I go out into Rachi, and Rachi cleans this thing up pretty easily. I uh, yep, went out into Rachi, and. I know why the sprites keep changing, because this is a battle area thing, and on battle area we have custom sprites. Rachi comes in, and I flinch this thing to death. Because <laughs> Rachi is Rachi. 
right now we are sitting at five and two as your Minnesota Golden Golducks. Uh, but I've been wanting to use this team for a while, this logo, uh, the, like this brand is what I mean. Uh, this layout for a while, and this is finally my opportunity to use it. This is going to be the team I use from now on. I'm going to kind of be abandoning the Monfernos and the Lycanrocs, just because I like this color scheme more, and because, you know, it just, uh, I made it. Like, but... Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you're new. Go check out Point Blank down below. And be sure you, you just, you know, keep following. Uh, the IBL video should be up on Monday. Uh, Monday's the last day, and I haven't had time to really record and edit that. I'm going to try to do that tonight and schedule it for either tomorrow or Monday. Uh, but I have to get this one up first. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.